Now, in an amendment to another video, we showed you the compression release on this camshaft. This is actually the camshaft it takes. You can tell it's Briggs and Stratton quality because it's made of plastic, which is exactly what I think of when I think of a durable camshaft. Now, this one's gonna be kind of hard to see, but you can barely even see the spring. And I think this return spring is gonna be kind of our issue. And who would have guessed such a robust spring <laughs> would break on a high tech component that you need to work so you can get your engine started. So I'm expecting to see this broken when we pull this out. So I've already unbolted the cover and gotten the engine off of the snowblower. If you can't get to this point, please do not attempt a camshaft replacement. Uh, that was the easy part, you know? There we go. I'm trying to keep the gasket in one piece, but I do have a replacement gasket. Yeah, it's already broken. Whatever then. So this is our governor assembly here. Everything looks fine in there. I'm gonna push this out of the way. And then before I go ahead and remove this, one thing that's pretty important to me, I'm gonna take this and tip it sideways. This way the lifters don't try and jump out. And who would have guessed, just like I thought, that spring is broken. So I could, in theory, move the spring over here. Oh, wow, look, I fixed it. Hmm. But that's not going to work for us. So we're gonna, if we've come this far, you might as well take a new one and put it in there. So this makes the camshaft pretty easy to replace because now I can just go straight back in with the camshaft. But unfortunately, off camera, we're going to have to do some work. We're going to remove all these pieces of the gasket. And we're going to get a new gasket on here. Okay, so here we go. This is the new camshaft with that compression release with this tiny little spring that's sitting right behind that shelf there. And in a very unnerving fashion, I have the old one and I was able to reset the spring. And now the compression release is working again. So does that mean this one's gonna come off in a couple hours? Let's hope it doesn't. So what I did here, I cleaned up this gasket surface. You can see that it looks pretty good, right? Yep, okay. Free of oil and all that jazz. But before I did that, there's a mark on the crankshaft right here. See that little mark right there? Can you see it? It's mm -hmm. on the tooth. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we're actually gonna line that up with the timing mark on this. Where is the timing mark? Oh, it's gotta be right there. Is that okay. it? No, I think this is it right here. Yeah. So you see that? Yeah. Bad. So this mark is gonna line up with that. So luckily, Briggs and Stratton made it so it's on the flats of the camshaft. What we did, we angled this motor this way with the push rods down so that these lifters wouldn't jump out. That saves us a lot of trouble. You'll have a hard time holding these up and putting this back in if the machine still has the engine mounted to it. Bam, look at that. So I'm, I know that I have my two marks lined up. That's very important. And the camshaft is in place. Now we're just cautiously gonna proceed here. And line these up with the dowels. Make sure that none of the holes are obscured. That's also pretty important. But just to help us out here, I'm actually going to tilt this back up. That way this kind of sits where it wants to. You can use some sort of gasket sealant if you really feel like it. But you don't have to. Uh, the gasket's pretty good at sealing these front covers. If you do have a bad seal, now is an excellent time to replace it. Ours looks like it might be weeping a little bit, um, but it's not the worst I've seen. It's mostly just belt material. Yeah. yeah. it's a little oily. Yeah, so we might go ahead and replace the seal here if we have one in stock. If not, whatever, it's a snowblower, not a Ferrari. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna reach back here and I'm gonna pull this over just a little bit to get that lined up with each other. We made sure this is sitting flat on all these spots. There's nothing holding us back. And then we're just gonna go ahead and zip all the bolts back down and uh, mount it back to the machine. We'll see how it is to turn over.